Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In this part, I find the Thieves' Guild. Hey! Please be generous, kind sir. The Grey Fox. Are you looking for him? Yes, I want to work with him. Now I'm just curious about him. He's a fairy tale. The Imperial Watch pretends there's a, a thief king named the Grey Fox. He controls all the thieves in Cyrodiil. Grey Fox. Yes, I want to rid the city of him. I don't blame you. He's a menace to society. Well, let me know if you find out anything. Grey Fox. He's a fairy tale. Of course, it's all just made up to give them an excuse to keep us down. Grey Fox. He's a fairy tale. The Imperial Watch pretends there is a thief king named the Grey Fox who controls all the thieves in Cyrodiil. Of course, it's all just made up to give them an excuse to keep us down. We'll see. Thank you. It's okay. a lot of money for a homeless man. Rumors? The Blackwood Company were taking bad hiss from a sick tree. No wonder they fought blood mad and fearless. Grey Fox? You... Yes, I would want to work with him. I think I trust you enough to tell you this secret. To learn more about the Grey Fox, go to the Garden of Dereloth at midnight. Look in the waterfront district of the Imperial City. I can say no more. Have a coin. Thank you, kind sir. How can he... Bless him. Okay. That out of the way. What time is it? Ooh, we got a few hours. Let's read the handwritten notes. Uh, not that. What? Oh. Mysterious note. I can offer you greater rewards and less time in prison. If you are interested, come to the Garden of Dereloth in the Imperial City's waterfront district at midnight. Present this note and all shall be made clear. That tells you another way to find them. You know what? It's been a very long time since we've even looked at our house in the waterfront district. Let's have a look inside. I don't know who was here, but they restocked my tomatoes. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Two hours passed like nothing. I totally didn't skip any time or anything. So, you are looking for the Thieves' Guild as well? Armand Kristoff will decide who is worthy and who is not. I've been preparing to join the guild for years. If you're nice to me, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. Uh, you wish to join the Thieves' Guild too? Oh, maybe we will soon be brothers in the shadow. <laughs> Only our man can say. All right, let's save. Do I know you? The Grey Fox. You say a beggar told you to seek me out? Good enough for me, then. The beggars are the eyes and ears of the Grey Fox. He is the King of Thieves in Cyrodiil. You could think of him as our guilt master, although he would deny that title. Mysterious note. Ah, yes. Another scoundrel who served time in an Imperial jail. The Grey Fox is offering you a chance to join the Thieves' Guild. Yeah, you only get that note if you uh, commit a crime. Simple thing to do. Very easy to do as well. Just run up and punch a guard. I like to do that. If you go to the fighting chance, make sure to speak with Rosan about repairing armor. Okay. Let's join the Thieves' Guild. Everyone is here. Let's begin. Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves' Guild. The Thieves' Guild is not a myth. We are followers of the Grey Fox, and I am his doyen. Merely by finding me, you have passed the first test. 
It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. That's not fair. Methredel, you know the rules. However, for Amuse and the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him will be invited into the guild. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise! It's somewhere in the Imperial City. The beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. I spoke with Armand Kristoff, who is a member of the Thieves Guild. He offered me a chance to join the guild, but I have to compete against two other thieves, Methredel and Amuse. Whichever one of us steals Amantius Electus' diary first will be inducted into the Thieves Guild. It's somewhere in the Imperial City. He told me that the beggars might be able to tell me where to find him. Hmm, maybe he lives in the Elven Gardens district. Step aside. I'm going to win the right to join the guild. You can't beat me. Uh, sure. Aside from the fact that, uh, I literally know where to go. But there's two branching paths to this quest. And it affects your membership. Hey there, puny. Ancus. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Oh, that is really sad, actually, sir. Anyways, tell me about, about Amantius Electus. Oh, anything for you. <laughs> he lives in the Temple District on the far east side. Hmm. Are you sure? Blessings of our new... Now, this is actually a really easy thing to do. Don't even have to mess up. You don't even have to mess up. You words. If you mess up, you get a second chance. You get two second chances. Speak. You can even be faster than her, though it's unlikely she is very fast. Okay. Save outside. Enter. Sneak in. Amantius Electus' Diary. I have beaten Meth Ugh. Methrodel and Amuse to Amantius Electus' Diary. Now to get back to Armand and Der at Derelos Garden by midnight. She'll have a special line of dialogue for you. She'll have a special... There she is. Thief! You stole that diary from me! Now I have to wait to get into the guild! All right, now that we've taken the diary, let's read it. I planted the seeds of I planted the seeds of the drinkers. Soon I shall know if my theories hold true. The first shoots have appeared. I must make sure to continue the precise schedule of nutrient solutions. Small drinker fronds are clearly visible. This is a critical time in their development. I'm almost out of rat blood. I'll have to catch some more of those filthy beggars of the filthy beggars. The young plants are juveniles now. I can see them waving as if in a breeze, although the air in my cellar is still as death. I'm having a hard time catching any more cats. I may have to start using dogs. The damn drinker plants have a voracious appetite. One of them cut me today. I'll have to be more careful. My creations are refusing to feed. As an experiment, I offered them a drop of my own blood, which one of them drank greedily. The other drinkers are beginning to wither. I collected a bucket of human blood from the healers. I had to pay her an exorbitant amount to keep her tongue still. The drinkers are doing much better. Am I doing the right thing? The benefit of all of these plants to all of Cyrodiil is beyond doubt, but the price may be too high. It is one of the most difficult decisions of my life. I have destroyed my notes for how to br hybridize drinkers. I sit the trays on the roof where the sun could strike them down. 
An hour after sunrise, they were all dead. My attempt to create a hybrid of vampire and plant has failed. They were just too dangerous. Two parts grave dust, one part ash salts, mixed with human blood, exposed to two hours of moonlight each night. Let's actually go back in. See, there's something special in the basement here. That's the reason it's hid behind such a hard lock. Which, which, by the way, we have 222 lockpicks. Nice. These are drinkers. They're a different color than the plants to the left. The plants to the right. These plants feed on blood. This is actually a reference to a little shop of horrors. I'm actually kind of nervous about even touching them. Yeah, this is a reference to Little Shop of Horrors. Thank goodness this guy had better luck than the main character of that. Which I'm not going to spoil it for anyone that wants to see it because it's actually something I'd recommend watching. At least the musical. The, the TV musical. Not the... Not the bad adaptation. The cartoon. The cartoon is terrible. I'm not even apologetic. The cartoon is just bad. That's a lot of meat, dude. Ah, the drinkers must have been thirsty. Ooh, take all the corn. Yeah, but he managed to hybridize them, for the most part. So, uh, I have a question as to how. That's horrifying. I do not appreciate that. And I would see, I would much prefer that thing not ever exist. A mix of vampire and plant is genuinely an awful combination. Okay. Yeah, you might do. I might do what? Lock picks five gold each. Here you go. 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 Thieves Guild test. Congratulations! You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves' Guild. You now owe your loyalty to our Guildmaster, the Grey Fox. He has three rules you must follow. The three rules. First, never steal from another member of the Guild. Second, never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. About the Thieves' Guild. What do you want to know? What do I do if I kill someone? Breaking any of the three rules means expulsion from the Thieves' Guild. If you commit murder... You must pay the blood price to rejoin the guild. Blood price is for each person slain. You can pay any of the guild doyen. The Grey Fox. He's been around forever. It must be 300 years or more since he took charge. I'm not sure he's even human. Horrible. Hieronymus Lex. He's a captain of the Imperial Watch. He is pursuing a personal vendetta against the Thieves' Guild and the Grey Fox. Two years ago... I made a fool out of him when he tried to arrest me. Lex has never forgotten it. Interesting. Pay off my fines and bounty. You can pay your fines to the guards, serve your time, or pay me half, and I'll fix them all. I'll work out my problems on my own. It's your prison sentence, not mine. You can pay your... F That's kind of weird. Anything else about the Grey Fox? All Thieves' Guild members have sworn loyalty to him. If there is such a thing as a Guildmaster, he's it. Interesting. Sources of information? The best source of information are the beggars. Their eyes and ears seem to be everywhere. However, be prepared to spend a little coin. They won't tell you anything for free. At least not anything true. Thieves' Guild jobs? Jobs? We're thieves, not masons or scribes. 
Look, you're on your own as a thief. Go find a likely-looking house. Case the joint to see when the owner is gone. When he leaves, you break in and steal some stuff. You don't need special permission or orders to do that. However, you will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Most other merchants won't take hot merchandise. So we all work alone? Well, sometimes the guild gets a special commission. You know, guaranteed pay to acquire certain items for special clients. You should check in with your doyen every once in a while to see if there are any commission jobs available. Okay, Thieves Guild special jobs? The Grey Fox has asked me to take care of a problem. But I'm putting you on it. No, you aren't. Okay, so we saved just outside of uh, the little shop of horrors house, Amantius Electus's house. This time, we're letting her steal it haphazardly. She just kind of keeps moving around. That's a bad idea, that's a bad idea, that's a bad idea. Why are you in the basement? Methrodel has beaten me to Amantius Electus' diary. If I can't get it from her somehow, she will get into the guild and I'll be left out in the cold. It's too bad the competition rules won't let me kill her. However, our man didn't say anything about stealing from her. I've got the diary, and I will turn it over to Armin the next chance I get. It's well hidden, so don't even think about trying to steal it back from me. The Thieves Guild test? You should drop out now. You know I'm going to win. I could pickpocket you right now, lady. Out of my way. Okay. So, from here, I believe we have to get the diary back. Huh. But we want to get it from her house. Provide an interesting different bit of dialogue. Let's go off to the waterfront district. Let's go speak with that homeless dude. She's not in a rush to win. Which you'll notice. She could have already beaten us back here twice. Hot can eat for it. Jesus, Methodil. Always glad to do it five for you. Uh, she lives uh, on the waterfront. Uh, wait till afternoon to find her. Yeah, she sleeps from sunrise till noon. Interesting. Always glad. Take your time. That's not all For me, that you can tell me. Always glad to do if I... Really? Please. Every little bit helps. Always glad to do... Interesting. Yeah, Methodel's house is here. Followers of the Gray Fox, yeah, yeah. The chest. You're not her. I have stolen Amantius Electus's diary from Methrodil. Now to get back to Armand. Yes. Thieves Guild test. Congratulations! You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves Guild. You now owe your loyalty to our Guildmaster. Same dialogue. The 
The word on the street is that Methodel delivered Amantius Electus's diary to Armand. I hope Armand has some has something else I can do to get into the Thieves Guild. I should go see him at midnight in the gardens of Dareloth. All right, at one at one a.m. he actually uh, gets out of here, so let's move quick. What? Hermes? Hey, you're the one that. Nope. 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 Oh, nope. 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 Oh, oh, nope. Nope. Yes, you might do. The thieves' guild test. Actually, the Imperial City. A little tip: people who ask a lot of questions around here tend not to be very popular. Hey, they told me that at work too. Thieves' guild test. Methridel has delivered the diary to me. She has earned her place in the guild. You did not do so well. Since we rarely get three potential recruits at the same time, I'll give you one more shot. Amuse is a bungler and won't get this offer. The first one to bring back Rossin's sword will become a member. But this is the last chance. The loser gets nothing. Do you accept? Okay. Now you can't really fail this, but maybe some other time? You walk a dangerous path. Keep the secret of the guild, or else. If you change your mind, I'll be here. So you've come back. I will join the competition. Good. Remember, you may not kill anyone while doing this. If you need any lockpicks, I can sell you some. Lockpicks? Lockpicks? How many lockpicks do you have, sir? I have a lot of money. Here you I feel like I have too many lockpicks. I... That's not enough lockpicks, you know? Alright. Hey, puny Ancus. I'm only asking for enough to feed me, kids. Dude, I have given you hundreds of gold tonight. Tell me about Rosan. I've heard of it. Uh, what's it worth to you? Here's five coins. I'm short of coins. My memory is playing a trick on me. I can't seem to remember where she lives. Rasan. I've heard of it. Uh, Here's five coins. I will sing of your charity. <laughs> she runs the fighting chance armory on the far east side of the market district. The Grey Fox? Don't pay attention to those rumors. There is no such thing as a thieves' guild. The Grey Fox is just a thief. The watch hasn't caught yet. Rumors? Goodbye, Blackwood Company. The Fighters' Guild has a new master, and Orion is back. Hey, that's me. One more. What? Okay, have a coin. Black oh, hey, Blessings of Mistara. That's nice. I like it when Mistara blesses me. Okay. Wearing light armor feels a lot different. My footsteps cannot even be heard right now, for one thing. And I just go so quickly. Alright. Oh. Oh. Let's break into Rosan's house. Now this is the way I actually like to get into the guild. Because that way you don't really make any enemies. It's okay, boy. Stay away. You don't see me. Won't lie. Didn't expect the dog. My god, this lady is well fed. Casual wine? It's the Middle Ages, lady. A well populated dinner table is questionable. Rosan. 
Rosan's Antique Cutlass. I have Rosan's Cutlass. Now to get back to Armand in the Garden of Dereloth. I'll have to wait until midnight when he is there. I'm doing a lot of stealing. Ooh, some gold. Nothing there. No, no, I'm not gonna risk pickpocketing her. I'm just getting out of here. Okay. Let's head over to the Imperial City waterfront. Hey there, Amand. Are you confused? I'm always confused. Thieves Guild test. It took two tries, but you finally made it. You have earned the right to join the Thieves Guild. You now owe your loyalty to our Guildmaster, the Grey Fox. He has three rules you must follow. Okay, same dialogue. First. Th same dialogue as before. But next time, he offers us a job. So, uh, those were the two ways to get into the Thieves Guild. And also finding the Thieves Guild, which is an unmarked easy, easy quest that you could just accomplish in seconds. Just by showing up here coincidentally at midnight, which I did actually my first time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Thank you all and have a wonderful day. Bye.